Greetings, welcome to my domain, the Keeper of Mega. Welcome back to Digimon Survive. I don't remember when we were last time, but I do remember something about. Okay, I got some wrathful stuff last time. So it got back to where the auto where it auto saved. But I believe the when I got. Oh. There's heat coming out of my heater. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by a flag in my office moving. You're across the whole wall. Oh yeah, I, I saw that. Did, it's the this guy. It actually has a Digimon on there. It actually has a Digimon on there. Yeah, there it is. It's a. Uh, damn it! I forgot to. I forgot to actually look up the name. Um, Salomon? Uh, nope, that's not Salomon. Okay, that's, that one turns into Gatomon. That's not Salomon. <laughs> okay, that's not right. Uh... Serpent Digimon. Seedramon. That's what that is. That's a Seedramon. Why is there a Seedramon on the mural that was painted hundreds of years ago? Even though Digimon are only in universe wise 50 years ago. Or 60 years ago. No, 50. I'm gonna go 50. 50, 50 seems right. 70s? 80s? I'm gonna go 70s, 80s, so 50. Vaguely 50 years ago. So, why... Why, why a Seedramon is just showing up there in that mural is anyone's guess. <laughs> it wasn't danger or retribution that caused people to close off this area. They might have been trying to protect this sacred place. Although, that being said, some people could have lived here, and that the temple. Because this whole area where we currently are, like in game, is rural enough. That that temple, that abandoned temple, could be fairly recent. I can't look at the map. No, can't go to the map. That that temple is fairly recent. 
that temple could be fairly recent. Even though it looks old and abandoned, like, that could very well be the thing. 50 years of neglect could still do the exact same thing. Hell, in the town that I, where I live in, there's a house that was abandoned for about... There was a house that was abandoned for about 10 years, 10 or 15 years. It's showing that same amount of neglect. So, yeah. I wouldn't put it past it. That could very well be a recent shrine. Recent enough to have a mural of a Cedramon. But also late enough for it to be decrepit. That, that actually would make sense here. Okay. As for some of the other creatures in black on the, on the wall. I don't know. I believe I brought it up before. I haven't watched Digimon in years. Literal years. I haven't watched Digimon. What was it? It actually was 15 years. That was a long time. The last time I actually watched Digimon, I was in high school. That's the last time I actually watched anything Digimon related. And it was potentially a rerun. So, yeah, I don't know much about it. This is my first entrance into Digimon in years. In a very long time. This is my first entrance into Digimon in a very long time. Let's see... Gawking? What'd you say about Gawking? He was right. We have better things to do right now. Find the others. Let's go farther in. I do want to get that thing. It will influence what my partner Digimon turns into, but I do want to know what this shrine is. Because this could give us some insight. Even the slightest insight, it'll give wrathfulness. Anger? Angory? The slightest insight could give us some, even the slightest, teensiest bit of insight teensiest bit of information, even about the current area that we're in, could give us an idea as to their whereabouts. <laughs> yes, yes, all well and good. You can be scared all you want, but this... I know there's people we gotta rescue, but, like, there's an opportunity here. There is an opportunity to gather to gather a lot of information on on the past on how the people viewed the creatures and the murals I'm only assuming this is only an assumption here that these kids have potentially already heard of Digimon because you know when a Digimon tries to take over the entire goddamn world Two separate times. Three separate times. Four. Five. Multiple times. Digimon attacked the Earth multiple times in the span of decades. Surprisingly. That's probably going to be broadcast everywhere. It's kind of hard to cover up. Giant monsters are attacking Tokyo, and they suddenly disappeared after five teenagers stopped them. What?
Is this Power Rangers or Digimon? <laughs> and what has the same logic, oddly enough? Five teenagers with attitude. <laughs> Attack. Fight giant. <laughs> Kaiju monsters. With their own kaiju monsters that sometimes combine together to make a bigger kaiju monster. <laughs> and sometimes they'll. And sometimes they can ride inside them. Oh my god, it's Power Rangers, but, but Pokemon. I just realized what it was. <laughs> it's Power Rangers with Pokemon. <laughs> oh, even though Digimon came out first, technically. Technically, Digimon was first. Starting off as a Tamagotchi style, style, style thing. Only developing into a, into a three dimensional or two and a half dimensional game later on, and then we got the animated series. After Pokemon had already established its animated series, whoops! What well, strangely enough, Pokemon. While Digimon, this is just some random knowledge I have from some <coughs> from looking up over the years. While Digimon was a was still a Tamago in the Tamagotchi phase, Pokemon was already shilling out the 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 two D games. Digimon, as such, to my knowledge, Digimon had to had to basically. Digimon had to basically put out their own their own games just to compete. That's why Digimon to this day you don't hear that much of. It's more of a it's more of a niche thing. You hear more of Pokemon than you do Digimon nowadays because Digimon is still is still struggling to to compete with Pokemon. Now, this is just my own personal knowledge, my own personal views of it, how I saw it over the years as I was growing up. I saw more about Pokemon, more information about Pokemon, no more Pokemon games available. This is the first time in literal years that I actually seen a Digimon game on the market, available for purchase. in the stores the previous Digimon games never saw never saw a thing about them and Digimon was on PlayStation for years I never saw any of that anywhere not even for years even when Walmart even when my local Walmart was selling like play PS1 games and PS2 games nothing on Digimon it was other stuff. I never once saw any Digimon thing there. I should know. I looked through those cases enough. <laughs> but there wasn't there wasn't once anything else there. Digimon related. Not until now. Not until Cyber Sleuth and Survive came out. Did I see anything like any anything Digimon related? in Walmart and that to me is very shocking that also to me shows the power of marketing Digimon is still struggling to complete compete with Pokemon even though Digimon came out first so you know take what that take from that what you will yeah, we'll come back here. I don't know why I want to have a nice balance. It's 
someone just materialized. <laughs> just spun in like like the Mario tell like the teleporting from from Mario sixty four. Or instant transmission from Dragon Ball. And you are. Oh, uh, hello there. Who's that? So. Your guess is as good as mine. He said all that with one word. Did you follow us? What are you doing here? Yeah, that's my question. What are you doing here? That's line line, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> Passed down from how many generations? Because there's a Digimon in that mural. And that shouldn't be in that mural. Of course he's a scholar. What do you think? What do you think researcher means? Of course it's a scholar. This is why I say that in AOE, this is AOE's first time being human. And first time experiencing human. That's why I'm calling her an android. Because she doesn't seem to have any concept of what what a researcher is. Of course a researcher is a scholar. Are you a re researcher? Are you a scholar of some sort? No, I'm a fisherman. Bricklayer. I'm a laborer. I work on a farm. Of course I'm a scholar. You study ancient Japanese history. Okay, so how ancient is this Japanese history? Because, once again, there's a Digimon in that mural. And it... And if this... That mural was painted hundreds of years ago, it shouldn't be there. It really shouldn't be there if it was painted hundreds of years ago. This must also be Shuji's first time interacting with humans because yes that's <sighs> because yes the uh, researchers usually go by doctor or professor so, yeah. <laughs> You've been shunned from scientific society. How? How? And by who? So last time I checked, historical research is also a science. If you don't learn about the past, you can't. You might. You might miss something that could affect the future. In the present. So this place is valuable enough to be worth researching, huh? <laughs> I would say so. I would say so. There's, there's, since there's a mural depicting a a digital creature that was that that 
manifest that, that got that came into existence 40 or 50 years ago on a mural that was painted hundreds of years ago <laughs> you shouldn't have stuttered, Suji or Shuji. Shouldn't have stuttered. Just, you just you just calmly explain what's going on. You don't need to stutter. Just say our friends are missing. We're looking for them. They came this. We we have a feeling they came this way. I get why Kaido's feeling restless, but I'm really curious about this place. I am too! I am too, because that's piqued my interest why a Seedramon is there! When it shouldn't be there! No idea if Saki and the others came here. There's, this is the only place to go! Of course they came here! There's only one way forward! And they gotta go forward to go back. Wonka rolls. <laughs> Let's look around for some clues. Not a good idea. Oh, it's saving. The shrine is pretty weird. Maybe I should talk to the professor. Or inspect the mural. I'll do both next time so thank you all so much for joining experience if you enjoyed the video hit the like button to raise hell subscribe some more and i'll see you next video so long